Hey, welcome to Hoffman Leatherworks. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, but yet related to our leather. Um, I'm going to show you how to make your own waxed canvas. I like to uh, incorporate a lot of this waxed canvas along with the leather. It really makes for uh, a nice project. And if you don't know anything about wax canvas, it's just a, a, a cotton, generally, a cotton canvas that has a coat of wax applied to it to give it waterproof and, and there are some other things to it. But uh, So I'm just going to do a little piece here, like 15 by 10 or something. So we'll get that cut out and some of the things you'll need just a regular paraffin wax and, and some beeswax and the 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 recipe for the wax is you know pretty open but and as you can see here whenever you do apply the wax to some canvas it does darken it a little bit so just kind of do some testing and and know in advance that it will be that way so we'll go ahead and start the process and this is I'm sure there are a thousand ways to do it this is the way I do it I have a a big towel that I use all the time. You'll need uh, some paraffin wax. I just buy this canning in the canning supply of almost any grocery store. And then I always throw a little bit of beeswax in there, but you really don't need to. So just get your, I just use a little kettle on a little burner and get it all heated up. And then uh, you'll need an iron too. I have an old iron for ironing clothes that I use that, that we don't use it anymore. So it's kind of my dedicated wax iron. So I just hit the towel a little bit. You know, after doing a lot of this, the towels really gets a lot of wax in it too. So I try to soften it up a little bit. Just makes it a little bit easier but um, you can do this you know almost anywhere on an ironing board or pretty much whatever you have and it really doesn't hurt your iron all that much you could still use it just to make sure to heat it up and kind of clean it off a little bit get some of that wax off there so we'll go ahead and take the the piece of the wax cloth or duck canvas this is actually eight ounce duck canvas from Hobby Lobby I believe it was seven eight dollars a yard so it's pretty inexpensive compared to buying waxed canvas which I've seen up to you know twenty thirty dollars a yard so once your wax is all heated up and your brush is softened it'll harden your brush of course just go ahead and just kind of slop it on there's no real rhyme or reason or there's no right or wrong way to do it so and you'll see it starts you know to dry pretty quickly especially if it's a little cool in your house or your room wherever you're doing it your canvas is a little cool but just get it on the best you can then just take your iron this is the the game changer here you just iron it and you can see right away it just evens it out really nicely you can easily see any spots that may be a little bit light it'll even out the heavy spots it's a pretty pretty easy process and you can you know do a whole yard or more at a time or just do individual pieces as you as you need them for for your projects you will want to um, if you're cutting pieces just for your projects you will want to over cut them cut them bigger because applying the wax and the heat and, and everything does kinda you know stretch and shrink your your canvas so again just know know that if you know Give it a few inches on each side of whatever size, you know, project piece you're going to need. So, 
Don't remember remember to uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button. We're going to be having uh, uh, videos now using this wax canvas with the leather project. Some I do some handbags and some other stuff that kind of uses a combination of of both. But there you see the final final project, and you keep adding wax and ironing till till you're happy with it. And um, just let it cool a little bit, and it'll it'll stiffen up really nice. One of the really cool things about this wax canvas is um, you can give it a really cool kind of old feel by just you know crumpling it up. And I'll show you that here in a second. But but there's your wax canvas. It'll be uh, it's a little stiff, so it's you know it's nice, still nice to work with. Um, you can add your seams and stuff it's real crisp when you fold it um, it's overall a, a, a pretty cool product and I really think it goes well with with the leather so see so you can uh, crumple it up and you get that really cool distressed look but what's even better is if you do have your canvas looking like that you can easily take it back back to normal just hit it with hit it with your iron again so if you don't like that look once you finish your projects you just hit it with a iron or a little something hot and it'll go back to looking you know brand new as it were So that's it's pretty versatile and you can get a lot of cool looking products out of this wax canvas. Of course I also like to, um, I just make little drawstring bags to ship a lot of my products in. So it's, because it's, it's inexpensive and you know if you, you need to make one up and put your project in and use that for shipping. So thanks for joining us and uh, there will be lots more videos. Upcoming. Thanks.